Hello, my YouTube fans. <clears throat> well, so you're wondering why I have so many things on the table. Not just the toolkit, like the deck builders toolkit and the bundle box, but I also have uh, some packs. And what is this glasses and this knife sitting on? So, well, the knife is just to open the boxes up with. So what I want to tell you is, it took me about a half an hour or so. I wanted to do something about the glare. So, if any of you has ever been, any of you uh, people out there have ever been to a 3D movie, you've got these um, real 3D digital theater movie glasses, which I removed the lens. I've got quite a few of these. You know, I went to see quite a few of these movies. They want you to recycle them, but as far as I'm concerned, if I paid for the damn things, I'm keep them. Um, so I removed the lenses. Now these lenses uh, for the 3D are actually polarized lenses infused with the color that the old-fashioned red, green, or pink, purple, or whatever colors they use in those 3D movies, the old-fashioned ones. But these are polarized and infused with that. So I have one of these over the lens, over the uh, camera. If I put a second one over it, you can see that they block each other out. And if I turn it, see? See how that works? Polarization. All right? Now, I couldn't do anything about the fact that I don't have any polarized. Actually, I do have one polarized filter. Should have thought of that before I did this. I got one in my telescope box. Well, I couldn't scotch tape a nice uh, camera quality polarized filter with scotch tape to the, to the camera because it's too damn heavy. These or just flimsy pieces of plastic that were polarized so that I was able to just use scotch tape on it. So hopefully I cured the problem of the glare. So without uh, any further explanation, here's what happened. I decided I wanted to get my Exelon collection going, but I don't have a lot of money. So I have I opened up my uh, notebook collection of uh, rares and things. I know the store buys them and they give you more store credit than they give you cash. So I pulled uh, about 20 or so cards out that I had duplicates of. I figured if I'm going to collect these, I'm not necessarily going to build decks with them. To tell you the truth, uh, I'm probably not going to have one of that. I'm never going to have one of the best decks because I'm probably hardly ever going to use the main rares that I should be using in the decks. But in any case, I had two or three copies of uh, several, and uh, 20 actually, 20 something. And I pulled them out and went to the store and I said, okay, here's what I want to do. You give me much, as much store credit as you can for these and I'll buy, I'll add some money and I'll buy some product depending on how much credit I get. Well, I, I, it turns out that I make a long story short, I'm not going to tell you the exact amount that I got, but but uh, the uh, truth is, is that I was able to buy both the Deck Builders Toolkit and the Bundle Box by adding some money to the credit. I even added three Exelon packages, uh, excuse me, booster packs. So that's what I kept, that's what I came up with. And uh, this is how I'm gonna start my Exelon collection. So let's get to it. I think I'll save the booster packs for last. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll be disappointed in the bundle. Maybe we'll be disappointed in the other thing. And the booster packs will give us what we've been waiting for. So. The bundle box, I think I'll save also for a second. And I'll tell you why. Because in the Deck Builders Toolkit, it's known, I, I've had one of these in the Yaman Kit, it's known, you don't get any rares in these. But from what I've seen online, um, besides the fact that you get 285 cards total, um, they are supplying you with a lot of good uncommons. I saw I saw somebody else last night on YouTube opening up a couple of these and uh, and it turns out that uh, magic uh, the Wizards of the Coast is actually uh, sort of strengthened their their product line by enticing people to buy this by adding some much you know more enticing cards now not, mind you there's no rares okay so let's just get to it my uh, trusty uh, lock blade knife here oops I 
going to say. Nice and sharpening, I think. <clears throat> I should bring that garbage can over. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sorry guys, I'm dragging them flashlight around. Okay, let's put that back. And put the garbage can down here. All right. So in the deck builders toolkit, they say that no uh, no kit is no two kits are alike. No two toolkits are alike. It says it there. Yes. So um, they include, I think, at least one Exelon booster pack and three others. There's four packs from, from recent sets. I've seen these opened up and I've seen them getting all four or one. I've seen them getting uh, two and two. And yes, it looks like I have two. Okay, so I'm sorry. I got to show you this because I have the camera right side up today, and I feel like messing with the tripod. So this is what I got so far. Um, we got two Exelons and an Amonkhet and a Kaladesh. So in here is also this spacer piece of cardboard that kind of reminds me of a. Well, it reminds some people of a, the Darth Vader helmet. <laughs> okay, I'll toss that aside. And you get uh, the land and ra semi random cards, and whichever one is which. Oh! Well, it turns out that um, they do include some rares. After all, look at that. But this is a rare from the Welcome Deck 2017. Look at that. Well, that's a surprise. Like I said, the Wizards of the Coast is trying to uh, boost their uh, value, I guess, which is a good thing. I'll be darned. Okay, so very quickly, the, uh, the quick reference guide and the so-called... Uh, Reusable card box, which we'll be using. Okay, put that aside very quickly. And it's the same with the almond kit toolkit. You get this piece of glossy paper with uh, how to build a deck, some uh, advice on how to build a deck, uh, and all that. Okay. And on the other side, the color wheel, the five colors. Okay, wonderful. Okay, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. Maybe I'll cut away the artwork and hang it somewhere. Who knows? Who knows? Turn this room into a teenager's room. All right. So since I got the camera right side up for you and upside down for me, I'm going to have to look at these. So this looks like the um, this looks like the randomized set with semi-randomized set. Although so does this. This has some dual color land on it. This looks like it might be all the the regular land. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Let me see what this box says. The sleeve of the box. It comes with 125 semi-randomized cards. Now is that this slightly higher deck or is that this multi volley walls or is that this one? Suppose it's this one. Four 15 card booster packs from the recent Magic the Gathering sets. 100 basic land debt cards. Deck Builder's Guide and Build... Okay, so it's 125 semi-random cards 
likely divided between two of these decks. This one and one of these. I don't know. So I guess we have to find out the hard way. I have to open them. Let's find out what this one is. This one does not need a knife. It's got a little unzipper thing on it. Alright, so upside down for you. Okay, it looks like on the top of this is, is, a, is a whole mess of dual color lands. Wow. Oh, I like that. I don't think, I don't remember my Alma Kett having that many. Um, Decked all this toolkit. And then there's the, looks like basic lands. Yes, yes. So this is the basic lands. Look at some of this artwork, by the way. When I get a new camera, okay, I moved the microphone in a bit better place. When I get a new camera, I'm going to do something on the artwork on these new lands. Um, let me show you one real quick. Well, I got the polarized lens on there, so it might be difficult to see. But anyway, when I get a new camera, I'll do the I'll do the artwork uh, video that I want to do. But I'll wait for the new camera. So for now, I'll just show it to you like that. So these are um, the rest of the basic lands, and in that deck, on top, was the dual color lands, which is very cool to have. You know, the ones that a lot of them get uh, into the battlefield tapped and all that. In fact, it looks like all of these do. Every it looks like every single one of these entered the battlefield tapped. Yes. Submerged Boneyard. Oh, look at the artwork on that. Let's see if I can. Interesting. Yeah, that's not very clear. I know it's grainy. When I get a new camera, I'll do the artwork. Um, okay, so. That package had, I'm not going to count them, some of the basic lands and uh, a small stack of the dual color lands. So this is obviously the rest of the lands. Um, perhaps I'll save that for last. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to save that for last because I'm pretty sure because they give you. I think there's. Um, I'm going to guess. Sixteen there. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Yes, so there's 40 basic lands on this pack. There's 60 here, which makes it, which makes it 100. Is that what I said, 100 basic lands? Yes. Which leaves me with 20 of the dual color lands. Okay, so there it is. Those are all land. I'm not going to open up the uh, basic land pack. So let's get to these. Now this is also a land. Now these don't get put on the battlefield tap. These have like special abilities of their own. Tap, sacrifice, evolve, and well, search your library for basic land card and put it onto your battlefield. Yeah, you know, there's like fetch lands, I guess they called them at one time. And this one, it looks like I'm going to need a knife for it. Yeah. There we go. So, okay, this is an Amonkhet, this is the new Exelon, River Sneak, it's a creature, it's an uncommon, 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 see a lot of uncommons in here, one, two, three, four, five, five uncommons on top. Another uh, evolving wilds. Okay, so it looks like uh, these are all blue. No, this is green blue. These two are green, and these two are blue. Okay. Then we got uh, some some blue commons, a green common. And now we're up to red. We got one, two, three, four, 
three three uncommon reds and then blacks another okay so uncommon uncommon five more uncommons let's just put them all together I'm not going to go through every single card but uh, so far we got ten uncommons and if I do that again I'm going to ruin my cards lightning rig crew Ooh. lightning rig crew deals one damage to each opponent an instant fiery cannonade deals two damage to each non-pirate creature for a strike on the rigged runner okay so some interesting uh, uncommons here so those are uncommon some more commons okay another uh, evolving wilds and back to the uncommons we got white ones now one two and another red one three charging monster soar as trample and haste that's a five five for five mana I'm sorry not exactly showing you am I sky terror it's a two two for two it's flying and it's got menace okay so one two three four five more on comments was that 15 so far right yeah it seems like they're giving me cards that and another evolving wilds looks like we now have a full set of the evolving wilds four cards and now we've got um, put these down now it looks like we have an almond kit uncommon lay calm you know I don't actually have that card I had almond kit for a long time and I don't actually have that card Okay, Charter Course, I believe I have. That's the new set. That's an uncommon. A Kaladesh uncommon. Arborback Stomper. Okay, let me show you those cards now. I know I didn't set up the uh, tripod and did it so that I can show you while I'm looking through the cards. I apologize for that, but I kind of wanted to get this box open quickly. There's a Merfolk, Merfolk uh, Branch Walker. That's the new set. Okay, going through these as quick as I can. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it looks like it's five, 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 five. That's twenty uncommons of various sets. Then they get to the uncommon. I mean, then they get to the commons. They like you know give you five and five, five and five, five, and five, that sort of thing. So I'm pretty sure that's twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-one, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nineteen. Yes. So we got twenty commons of various sets, mostly Exelon. Okay. Twenty uncommons, mixed Exelon and others, but I still think it's mostly Exelon. Okay. And uh, these are. Uh, Fetch lands are from Amon Ket set. That's a full set of uh, Evolving Wilds. Very interesting. Okay. So, we'll put the Fetch lands on top of the, non, uh, the dual color lands. We'll put the uh, Uncommons in another stack. And the Commons in that stack. Okay. So, that was that pack. The pack with the, land, the uh, Fetch lands on top. Now, we got this rest of the semi-randomized cards which is the one that I said has actually a rare in it from the welcome deck 2017 so let's get to that one we're gonna go through this you know I'm, I'm not uh, this is the purpose of this is not to show you every card and talk about them and all that because to tell you the truth I don't know you know I'm no expert on this in the first place but the purpose of this was to see um, what they give you in the new Deck Builders Toolkit as opposed to the older ones. The Almond Kit was the first one I ever bought. That's the first product I ever bought from Wizards of the Coast was the Deck Builders Toolkit. And it was the Almond Kit. And I, I'm pretty sure that it didn't have this, uh, this amount of, of value in it. 
I mean, it had some value, but it didn't. I don't think it had these rares and stuff. I have a Sphinx of Magosi. Uh, victory, victory is a herald. A four four. There's a rare. This is a rare. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got five rares from the Welcome Deck 2017. Now, I understand that this is not a very valuable set of cards, but the fact that they're rares from that set and they're still good and standard means that I can possibly use these in a deck that I'd like to build if I like to build a deck with these in it. Well, here's a 6-6. Six, six. The Sphinx of Magosi is a 6-6 six, six for 6 mana. I have one of these too. Yeah, these are the same ones that the Amonkhet um, toolkit supplied. Yes, these are the exact same ones. The, the Garuk's Horde, the Shivan Dragon. So come to think of it, Amonkhet um, deck builders toolkit did come with these rares. Now that I think about it, so I must I'm wrong about that. But nevertheless. Um, I, I, I'm still I'm still almost sure that it didn't come with all those uh, uncommons. The Sphinx of Magosi and the Victory's Herald. These are the five rares that the the toolkit comes with there from the 2017 um, Welcome Deck. Okay. Okay. After that. It looks like we have more uncommons. Imperial Arasaur, Danto Vanguard, Inspiring Cleric. Yeah, so, oh, Cast Out from Amonkhet. I think I was looking for this card. I'm glad I didn't buy any Amonkhet packs because uh, this would have been one of the ones I was looking for. So we got some more uncommons. So let's let's count them, and I'm not going to sort them through through kits uh, through sets. But one, two, three, four, four more uncommons. I'll put them on the uncommon pack st uh, stack. One, two, three, four, four commons from um, the new set. Then we've got a Kaladesh common and a um, Army Kit common. So we got six commons. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Put them on the common stack. We back to the uncommons. Another Armin Ket one. The Angry Drake. Charter Course from the new set. Perilous Voyage from the new set. Supreme Will. I got a few of these from, from uh, um, Hour of Devastation. So we got four. So it looks like it's going to be that way. It's going to be four, 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 four. Like the other pack was five and five, right? Well, four or more uncommons from various. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks like I got. Now, now they're giving me two, uh, two of each of these commons of these instants. Two, three, four, five, six. Trying to get the best light. Here we go. So, um, return target creature to its owner's hand, yeah. Uh, counter target non-creature spell, uh, spell pierce. Those are, those are the new ones, and these, the, uh, the unsummon is the um, Hour of Devastation. Then we have Essence Scatter from Amonkhet. We got one of those. So, one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> oh, it's part of me. <clears throat> what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six commons of various sets. And we'll put them in the common stack. And it looks like we're back to the uncommons. Doomfall. I just played, uh, coming from that store tonight, I just played somebody a quick game to test out his deck against the, my Planeswalker deck, which is a pre-constructed pre, uh, deck that I, they sell. And uh, he, um, 
Play this card on me. Choose one. Target opponent exiles. Target opponent exiles a creature he or she controls. And he did that to me. Made me exile a creature. Uh, target exponent. Uh, target exponent. Yeah. Target opponent uh, reveals his or her hand. He did that to me too with the same card. You choose a non-land card from to, from it. Exile that card. He did that too, but he. Uh, there were, I had all lands in my hand. Anyway. Um, so one gifted Aetherborn. Mm. Ooh, it's got Death Touch and Life Link. It's a uh, Kaladesh. No, it's an Aether Revolt. Oh, they included an Aether in here. Alright, so one, two, three. Walk the Plank. Destroy target non Murfolk creature. Five. Oops. One, two, three, four. No, just four. It's four. It's four. Yeah, so it's going to be four and six, it looks like. So we got four various uh, set uncommons. Put that on the uncommon stack. One, two, Dire Fleet Hoarder. Again, they're, they're including two of each, it looks like. No, well, we included two of those anyway. They got Contract Killing and Supernatural Stamina. Supernatural Stamina is a card I got from Mount Gan. I got them. So one, two, three, four, Duress. Oh, I'm glad I got this card. This is one of the artworks I want to cover. This is a non-land. But um, with a better camera, I'll be able to talk more about this. Um, as one of the people said uh, that was that was showing this card online, you could almost see the the uh, foreboding, um, you know, depressing mood that that person sitting in there is. It's totally, totally uh, believable. Anyway, where was I? One, two, three. Four, five, yes, yeah, six. Yep, I see a pattern. Four, six, four, six, four, six. So there's the uncommons. Put them on that uncommon stack. Did I? Uh, I just want to make sure I didn't mix these up. Okay, um, on the uncommon stack, I'm not including the land type cards. So some of those, most of those are uncommon as well. I mean, most of those are common as well. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, and uh, Charging Monster Sword from the new deck is an uncommon one. Willy Goblin is uh, from the new set, excellent. Two, we've got a, oh, we got a Braid. I'm pretty sure I got a full set of them now. I think I might have had a full set, but a Braid is one of those uncommon cards that are worth more than some of the uh, rares. So uh, there's some value there. One, two, three. Lightning Strike from the new set. Lightning Strike deals three damage to target creature or player. Nice. Got a couple of them. Maybe I got a full set by now. I don't know. And that's there's the four. There's the pattern. So we got four commons. After the six commons, let's see what we got next. We should have six more commons now. We got a Nest Robber with Haste. Just to read a couple of them. Uh, Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Okay. Fire the fa fa blah, 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 blah. I can talk, I do it all the time. Fathom Fleet Firebrand <laughs> gets plus one plus zero until the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, Frenzied Raptor, that's three. There's four, something from Amonkhet. There's five, something from um, Aether Revolt. Two shocks. I've got a full set of these now, for sure. You've seen these cards. I can't turn it right side up for you because I'm holding them kind of awkwardly. And that would be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. I'll show it in to you now. So it looks like I got a couple of each of those. Okay. So this Deck Builder's Toolkit, um, of course, my memory for the Yamaket one uh, may not be so good because when I was first starting this, I didn't understand. Uh, maybe I didn't realize that they had two of them. I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm still pretty sure that I didn't have this many on commons. So there's six commons to add to the stack. And I'm pretty sure that the pat if the pattern holds, there should be four uncommons here. There's one, two, three, and four. Yep, 
Here we go. Savage Stomp. It's a uh, sorcery for three mana. Savage Stomp costs two less to cast if if it targets a dinosaur you control. Really? Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Oh, I see. So if it's a if it's a dinosaur, it costs less to to two less to cast. It only costs three to begin with. That's cool. Ew, that's cool. All right, so uh, Mer Merfolk Branch Walker again, and I'm getting tongue tied. Aberback Stomper from from the Kaladesh. Ooh, this is a good card. Blossoming Defense from from Kaladesh. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you them real quick. Yeah, I know I didn't show you all of them like this, but I'm trying to do. The, you remember, I got another box to open yet. And by the way, um, I am hoping for a different color die. You know, the uh, countdown dice, countdown die. Um, I got a white one in the pre-release kit, and I don't really care for the white. I was hoping for a red one, even green or blue. I mean, they're coming. They're coming in multiple colors now. Okay, so there it is. So that's those. Put them on the uncommon stack. And one, two, three. Prey upon four. Colossal Dreadmaw from the new set with tramples the dinosaur. It's a six six for six mana. Five, and next one is an Amonkhet card, which I have a full set of at least, which is uh, Dissenter's Deliverance. I never even put it in the deck. But here's the uh, the new uh, dinosaur creature that I just got. Okay. And those are the commons. And... It looks like uh, four more uncommons and two commons again. Um, unclaimed territory is uh, is a land, and it's an uncommon. As unclaimed territory enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Okay, then what? Well, tap it to add any mana to, or non-color mana to your pool. Tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of your chosen type. Okay, there it is. So it's a specialty uh, land card, and it's an uncommon. Alright, we are going to put that, I guess I'm going to put that for now, I'll put that on the regular uncommon. No, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put it on the land stack. Okay, so... After that, we've got one, two, three, four, five commons. Are you sure that's an uncommon? Yeah, it is. Strange. It's an oddball. So they stuck one uncommon within the sticks of commons, so now it's five commons. So we got the uh, Pirate's Cutlass, two of those, for the last cards, and uh, that was an artifact, and two more artifacts, uh, The it's either Hierophants or it could be Aerophants, you know, like the Age of Silent, the heir of, uh, of a, you know, royalty heir, you are my heir. You know, I'm not sure if that's the way you pronounce it, but it's you see the air offense or hair offense or something to that effect. It's a chalice anyway. I've got a few of those already. I might even have a full set now. Then there's the prophetic prism from uh Kaladesh set. No, Aether Revolt? No, Kaladesh. When prophetic prism enters the battlefield, draw a card. Whoopie do. Okay, whatever. Okay. And Sun Scorched Desert. It's from Amonkhet, and it's a uh, one-sound square desert enters the battlefield. It deals one damage to target player. Now, there's a land that does damage to a target player. 
that's cool I'll put that on the land stack and we'll put these on the common stack and that is the deck builders toolkit in a nutshell and you know I don't have to bother opening up these lands uh, to save some time because this video is already long um, although I tell you what I'll do it just to skim through the artwork I'm not gonna count them or anything like that just to show you the new artwork which I intend to get a new camera a nicer higher resolution auto focusing better light quality that sort of thing camera probably the same brand because this is a, a, I think it's a Logitech and you know as they get more expensive they get better you, know, you get what you pay for what can I say this one's a 720 but I got it zoomed in you can see some graininess all right so so let's just take a quick look at some of the art and what we'll be talking about this is excuse me this is some of the planes that's interesting art again this camera is not showing it very well but I kind of like that I also have the polarizer on so that might be cut, cutting out some of the you know detail all right and then there's this one that I like okay so some of the blue I mean I'm gonna turn the deck upside down to me right side up for you and I'll just do this some of the black stuff is good I, you know this artwork in the black is, is getting cool again with the polarizer on it's really dark that's a really dark card even even without that on even in the light it's hard to see what that is but oh that's a nice one I like that one yeah yeah, so we got some new interesting artwork, and we're going, to, we're going to look up the names with the magnifying glass and write them down. And with a new camera, we'll uh, we'll get into it. And even some of the artwork that is not um, that is not land, we'll get into. Okay, so that's it for now. On that. we won't look at every single card. I'm going to put this on the top of the stack of basic lands and uh, there's my there's my hundred lands look at this I got a, is that a bent card what the hell look at this can you see that can you see that what the hell is that is that a bent card yeah look at that fresh out of the box it's curled so we'll go ahead and put that in the middle of the deck and see if we can force it to get flattened out all right so that's the deck builders toolkit now these three packs I bought separately these three so we'll open them later um, let's see what we got I'm gonna pause this so I can get myself a tissue because I'm about to sneeze again <clears throat> okay Oof. sorry about that I know that was only a split second for you but it took me a minute okay so I'm thinking um, I'm thinking let's get right to the uh, bundle box and I'll put these along the side I'm gonna put the two Exelon on top of the other Exelons I bought separately and um, I'll put the other two from the deck builders toolkit on top of that so we know um, we know that the first four packs on top are the ones I got out of the deck builders toolkit and we'll open them up after we open up the other box how's that all right so okay so what I'm looking for is a red dye I'll settle for green I'll take a blue but please don't give me another white 
be seen. I want to put this. I want to put this away kind of properly. You know what I'll do is I'll put all the um, toolkit cards in the box. Darth Vader helmet on inside there so that the cards don't fall flat. Okay. And this one I do. Okay. Close that up. Put the sleeve back around it. And of course, we're keeping the uh, booster um, booster packs out. Okay, so there's uh, there's the deck builder's toolkit. I'll put that over there. Let's use the other knife this time, the old-fashioned pocket knife, which is a lot sharper than that stupid-looking fancy schmancy bullshit knife. Let's take the stupid little, uh, can't really do anything with it, box out. Yes, the security tag. How about that? Let's throw that in the garbage. Okay, so we've got our poster inside of here. We're going to open that up. We've got the uh, player's guide. Let's take a quick peek. Make sure it's got the same list of cards like the other sets have. Yeah. Okay. So it's got the list of cards. Now, I know that this Planeswalker is supposed to be worth the most, but I, I'm sorry. I don't like Jace. I think he looks... I don't know. Like a jerk. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to be his friend. He looks like a jerk to me. What the hell is he dressing for? A freaking dance? All right. Anyway. Anyway, okay. So, yeah, there's the... Uh... Okay, good enough. Quick enough. Make, make the video shorter, Patrick. All right. Let's um, very, very gently and carefully unglue unglue our um, in, what do you call it poster sleeve very very gently and carefully there we go now we can pull a snot off of it it's that rubber cement stuff that they use, you see? It's for when you, uh, it, it's, uh, it's cool stuff. It's, um, for temporary sealing and reusable sealing. It's kind of like a sticky rubber. All right, let's take a look at the poster. Ah, it's a, it's a horizontal. The, uh, our devastation was a vertical poster. OK. 
Okay. All right. All right. So we got ourselves a horizontal poster. All right. Not enough of that crap. The box. What color dye did I get? Imagine that. All this time I had that patience. As much as I want to know what color dye it is. You know why? I tell you why. It's because I'm an old man. And I have this thing about being able to have more patience than most young people. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. I got a white dye. I just got a white dye in my in my pre-release kit. Everybody online is getting red and blue and freaking green dye, and I'm getting the fucking white ones. Oh, excuse my language. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, this is 80 more lands. Oh, look at the artwork on that one. I don't think I got that one in the... Uh... Not bad, huh? That's an interesting land. Okay. It's supposed to be 80 of them in here. I'm going to throw that in the... Uh... No, I'm just going to throw that right here. So let's get to opening up the packs. To the packs. There are ten. I think what I'll do is I'll put them inside this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. One hundred and fifty cards. Here we go. Oh boy. Can't get my finger under there. There we go. And I'm going to put this box over here so that I can go closer to the camera for you guys. All right. Because we got so many packs to open and because this video has already taken some time, I'm going to do the common, uncommon, rare thing. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, in this new set, you know, and the old sets, you know, the, the uh, Hour of Devastation and um, I'm cat. You counted nine um, commons, and the tenth. And if there, if there's a, a an uncommon on the tenth one, it, it means you had a foil. Well, it still works that way sometimes in this new set, but not all the time, because they did away with the uh, masterpieces and things like that. Um, and they came up, they came back with the dual sided cards and all that. It's a little bit randomized. So let's see what happens. So makeshift mutation. No, nope. I'm sorry. Makeshift munitions. It's a an enchantment and sacrifice an artifact or creature. Makeshift munitions deals one damage to target creature or player. Eh. It's two mana, whatever. Ranging Raptors. It's a two three for three mana. It has enrage. Whenever raging ranging raptors is dealt damage, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it into your into the bat onto the battlefield tapped, and shuffle your library. This new enrage mechanic is pretty cool. But the, the mechanic, you know, could be different for every card. This one it's uh, searching library of your land. It's a land fetcher. And the third uncommon is a sorcery called to the feast. Create a one one white vampire creature token. I'm sorry, create three 
One one void vampire creature tokens with life link. Ooh, this is going to my life link deck for sure. Okay, and we did get a foil. It's a common Fathom Fleet Firebrand. We got one of those regular non-foil ones in the in the um, in the uh, deck builders toolkit. So even with the polarization on, you can see that you can see that glare from the foil. Okay, so that's our foil, and it's a foil common. So we have to ex at least expect a rare. Ooh, and it's a good one. In fact, it's a mythic. I've got a mythic rare. And a foil. Let's bring that microphone over there. I got a mythic rare and a foil. So you saw the foil. It was a foil common. But this, I'm not sure what the uh, what the what the value is on this, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the higher value ones. It could be as much as ten dollars. Could be as much as twenty dollars. I don't know. But it is a mythic rare. And yes. It's a transformer. So there's the, the the transformed land on the other side. So I know that camera is really bad, especially with the polarization on it. But the Itlamok, the, the growing rights of Itlamok, transforms into Itlamok, cradle of the sun. Okay. And of course. Um, let me just put this in the right place. Where's my rares? Okay, that's the first pack open, so I'll put them here. So um, each time you get one of those, you'll get one of these two. So that you can mark this card for the for the uh, for the um, transform side, so you don't have to keep pulling it out of the sleeve. Okay, and a treasure token. Okay. All right, so now we gotta um, speed it up even a little bit more. Okay. According to the old common sense, 10 commons, no foil, right? So we'll see what happens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. We're just going to throw those on the, t on the um, common stack. So my first uncommon. Is a sorcery called Emergent Growth. Emergent Growth. Actually, this, I heard this was a good card. Target creature gets plus five, plus five until the end of turn and must be blocked this turn if able. Ooh. I like this card. Imagine putting a plus five, plus five on some huge creature or even one that's not so huge, you know, on a three or four creature. You know, you got, you got a monster. For at least one turn. It might be the end of the game if it's in the middle of the game. Very cool. Okay. So that's an uncommon. And that goes on that stack. Lightning Strike, we've mentioned before, is an uncommon. And that goes on the uncommon stack. Did I show you the other card? I'm sorry. Okay. Trying not to grab the edges, trying not to damage these cards. I'm pretty uh, crazy about keeping, I mean, keeping them uh, undamaged. Like this this kid that you've seen on uh, um, me mention on my YouTube channel about chess. Um, 
He has a habit of bending the cards the minute he gets them. He doesn't seem to understand that these things are actually a lot of money. Bright reprisal is my third uncommon. Wow, look at that. I'll show it to you in a second. Destroy target attacking creature, draw a card. Ooh, it's an instant. Just destroy the creature that's attacking you. Okay, got it. And I got a mythic. Wow, Wizards of the Coast is really, really giving it, giving us, uh, throwing us a bone here. That's the second mythic in the second package, right? Waken, Wakening Sun's Avatar. When Wakening Sun's Avatar enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, destroy all non-dinosaur non creatures. Wow. Okay, where's my mythic stack? Yeah. Very good. And uh, we got a planes. And a vampire. Okay. I'll just throw that on the land stack that I didn't open. Next. Two myth let me see, that was two packs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So this bundle, the first two packs that was a mythic apiece. Not bad. And now it's going to curse me by not allowing me to open this pack. <laughs> and the clock strikes 10. It is the 10th hour. But it is not the hour of devastation. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, look at that artwork. March of the Drowned. Again, I'll do I'll do more on the art when I get a better camera, but I can't resist. Let me see if I can get that in the correct light. There we go. I mean, the ocean looks real. It looks like a real beach, and there's a skeleton walking out of it. How cool is that? Let's find out the name on that. I could just about make it out, but let's let's not struggle. Get the old trusty magnifying glass out for my old fart eyes. Ben Wooten. Wooten. B O O. I mean B E N W O O T T E N. Ben Wooten. Very interesting. Oh, there's another dinosaur. There's another uh, skeleton walking behind him. I didn't realize it. Let me see if I, let me see if I could do. Uh, <laughs> I should I should put a magnifying glass over the over the camera. Okay, that that was fun. Let's let's get to the rest of these. Yeah, some of the, I mean, yeah, this, this, the, you know, I, I can, I can sit there all night about this artwork, but the, again, I want to do this the right way. I want to get a better camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and another ten. And the tenth one was another one of those uh, chalices, which I'm pretty sure I have a full set of now. Okay, Raiders Wake, Sleek Schooner, and um, un Unclaimed Territory, another one of those. We'll get them in the toolkit, don't we? Yeah. Those are my three um, un uncommons, very quickly, since I spent too much time on the other things. Okay. And my rare is Deep Root Champion. 
Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Deep Root Champion. And it's just a one one for two mana. Okay. That's the rare. That goes here. I don't have a separate stack for rares. No, I don't. All right, well, I'll make one now. We'll keep the mythics separate. I thought I had two mythics. Wait, did I make a mistake? Maybe I only have one. I thought the other one was a mythic. Oh well, whatever. I'm taking too much time. I'll figure it out later. Next pack. Oh, I, th I think I was thinking of the. Uh, I did get a mythic in the toolkit. I mean, not the toolkit. The um, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I must be thinking of a card that was a rare. I thought the legendary, uh, um, the growing rights of Lamak, I thought was a mythic. They're not considering that a mythic. They're considering that a, a rare. The transform one. Okay. This new set is new to me too, so you have to excuse my uh, misunderstandings. One, two, three. Look, look at the colors they're using on these dinosaurs. I mean, that is one bright dinosaur. Look at Half as bright as it looks when I look at it. Anyway, it's the ravenous dagger tooth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we supposedly have a foil this time. We've got nine commons. So we'll see how uh, we'll see how the, how the uh, theory holds up. Field of rain. Willy Goblin and Dire Fleet Captain are the three uncommons. Okay. Put them in the uncommon stack. And the Sorceress Spyglass is the rare. Okay, did you get a look at it at all different angles? Okay, and put that on the rare stack. The foil is Walk the Plank, and it's a it's an uncommon foil. Looks nice. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put it with the foils, but... Um, and separate the uncommons. And we got a mountain and a merfolk token. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to make that noise. Sorry, I hit the microphone. Next. Maybe I should have separated these videos in two boxes. One, two, what is that? Dual shot. Dual shot deals one damage to each up to two target creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, trash of raptors. Ten, no foil. Okay? Or at least so far, it's been holding up to the old rules. The uh, The other thing is is that when, you're, when there's like this sort of discrepancy 
um, they're putting the foils behind the rare or the rare behind the foil or something like that. They're 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 sort of swapping it back and forth. Yes, I needed to uh, take a toke. Um, so we got the Stormfleet Aerialist, Direfleet Captain again, I think, that's again, and Glorifier of Dusk. Glorifier of Dusk, you pay two life, Glorifier of Dusk gains flying until the end of turn. And it's a 4-4 four, four for five mana. Pay two life, Glorifier of Dark gains vigilance until the end of turn. So I guess I could choose between one of these two. So those are the uncommons. And I'll put them on the uncommon stack. And we're gonna find out if anything else spilled besides the empty box. The rare is hostage taker. Oh I've got um I've got one of these in my collection. I've also got the foil promo from my pre-release kit, Hostage Taker. This is actually a valuable card. Although it's not as valuable if it's not a foil. Um, I think it's a $10 card, and, and the foil I think is at least $10. But the non-foil I think is uh, it's a few dollars. I, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up again. So there it is. And that's a rare, and a swamp, and a pirate token and we're going to reach down and make sure that it was only the box yes it was the the main box the bottom of the box okay next One, two, three, four, looking at the artwork, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. There's a ten. I'm not even going to show you them. I'm taking too, making too much time as it is. I think I'm going to put this box in this house because I keep hitting it. Okay. Commons. There's some interesting artwork on my first uh, uncommon, the Verdant Rebirth. Marauding Looter and Fiery Cannonade. All of which have artwork which is uh, worth looking back into when I get a new camera. Very interesting artwork. So let's go ahead and put those common uncommons on the top of the uncommon stack. And the rare is Ruin Raider. Has raid at the beginning of your end step. If you attack, if you attacked with a creature this turn, reveal the top card of your library and put it put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to the card's converted mana cost. So basically. Um, if you're desperate to draw a card, you could pay three life to uh, see if you could pick up something good. Now, I, I, he, the, the guy I played today also used this card on me, or on himself, I guess. So that was interesting. And a forest and a treasure. Next, getting a little faster. Imagine me trying to open up a, 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 um, a booster box, 36 packages. I'll be here all day. These guys open them up so fast. I'm getting faster. One, two, three. Wow, look at that artwork. Four, five, six, seven. Unfriendly fire, eight. Dive down, nine. And grazing whiptail, ten. Oh, look at that thing. Wow. Yeah, just gonna show it to you. I 
again this camera sucks when it comes when it comes to trying to show you um, the colorful artwork and now that I have a polarized lens with has green or red tint in it to begin with um, it's even harder but I could tell you that the uh, polarizing lens is in fact help me filter out the glare for example if you've noticed I don't know I don't think you could I don't know if you can read it from there or not but as you notice you can see the text you can see the text right if I didn't have that lens if I didn't have that scotch taped over the lens um, you know the uh, polarizer over the lens uh, it's li highly likely that that text would be whited out completely so if you've ever gone fishing and wore a pair of fishermen's uh, sunglasses that sees through the water those are polarized sunglasses the polarizing uh, only lets light in certain uh, directions so that it gets rid of the uh, uh, the glare off the top of the water so there you go all right so my three uncommons are perilous voyage dark nourishment and tempest caller more interesting artwork oh boy let me tell you I'm going to spend some time looking over the artwork and writing it down. Maybe writing down the card that it's on. You know, and then uh, getting the new camera. And we'll do a whole video on it. So those go on the uncommon stack. And my rare is Spell Swindle. Counter target spell. Create X colorless tre uh, treasured artifact tokens where X is the spell's converted mana cost. Okay. There it is. Okay. And a mountain and a treasure. Okay. This is number eight out of the ten. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it looks like we have a foil. Look at this. This is the uh, ninth, uh, the ninth common. It's a uh, Exali's Keeper, Human Shaman, two two for two mana. I mean, this this set. Is using a lot more color you know their, their their artwork on a lot of it is a little bit more whimsical a little more cartoonish depending on which card it is depending on the artist but it's very very interesting it's to say the least it's very interesting um, so my first uncommon is the elaborate fire cannon okay that's an uncommon the rigging runner with first strike and raid. There it is. Right. And Savage Stump. I'm looking for that one dinosaur, the the I forgot something raptor I think it is. He's like chowing down on another dinosaur or something. That's worth a lot of money. I'm still looking for that one. I didn't get any one of those yet. And what do we have here? The Goring Ceratops. Again, um, I, I know that the new stuff about actual dinosaurs says that there's quite a bit of color in some of them but the triceratops was not one of them <laughs> so it's kind of funny to see a triceratops well it's, it is a triceratops yeah it is it's funny to see a triceratops uh, with uh, colorful rainbow color <laughs> feathers <laughs> so it's a bit fanciful and it is after all just a game um, you know but no, uh, the Triceratops did not have those colors. 
there was some dinosaurs that actually did have some fancy, you know, tropical colors, like a parrot, you know. But in any case, oh, 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 look at this. Well, I got two rares. I didn't get a myth, but I got two rares. And let me just put that down. And then it's a foil rare. So uh, aside from the Goring Ceratops, I got the Captain, uh, what's his name? Captain Lannery Storm. Foil rare. Don't know if it's worth anything. But that's kind of nice. Kind of a little, you know, candy coated popcorn peanuts and a prize. That's what you get in Cracker Jack, but uh, didn't expect it out of the uh, Magic the Gathering bo booster pack. <laughs> a little bit of a prize there. All right. So that's not bad. Not bad. And it seems like we get one of these cards even if we don't get one of those lands. Or did I not actually look? Maybe maybe I do have one and I didn't look. Let's find out very quickly. Just look at the backs of the cards. Yeah, actually, I didn't realize it. Oh, no, no, that's the first one I got. No, no, not in there. Let me see if it's a, a common. No? Okay. That's no, uncommon. Let me see if it's a common. No? No, they just gave me that check card for shits and giggles, I guess. Number nine. I need to pause this. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. I had to get myself something to drink. Let me get another sip of that. I'm uh, talking and I'm, I get thirsty. I'm fruit punch. <sighs> okay. So we just opened up the ninth pack. And what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So far, they've been true to the old uh, rule, but I could swear I opened up a pack one time where it didn't hold true. They gave a different prize instead. We'll see. So we got the Verdant Rebirth. I think we had one of those before. Rallying Roar and a Sky Terror as my um, uncommons. And let me just show you them real quick. on top of the stack of uncommons and the death death gorge scavenger is my rare okay oh, what do we have here oh we got a prize we got another prize oh that's right it was a foil okay so that's my foil it's a common no, it's an uncommon foil. Ruthless Knave. How about that? So it is a bit of a prize. Which is that the coast is uh, making an effort. Okay, so I did have a separate pile of foils, I thought. I think I'm mixing them up. Let me uh, quickly put this down, put the treasure down. And see what I mixed up here. Yeah, I put I put a foil rare on top of the regular rares. Well, that's because the other two foils are not rares. All right. All right. We'll separate them anyway.
No, we won't. No, I'm just going to put the foil right on top of the rares. Because otherwise I'm really get confused. I'm going to end up putting the rares in my binder anyway. Unless I decide to build a deck with them later on. And we'll do it that way. Keep the separate, we'll separate the, the, un, the non-rare foils. Tenth pack. The last pack of the bundle pack. Legion Judgment. Okay, whatever. It's called Duggery. One, two, three, four. Spell Pierce. There goes the color again. Vivid greens, blues, and reds. Look at this. I don't know. Again, I know this camera doesn't really show it. But there it is. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again. Nine curtains. Grim Captain's Call. Well, the pink in that one. Bright Reprisal. It's an instant. Destroy target attacking creature. Draw a card. And last but not least, and I mixed up, oh boy. All right, the last but not least is the uh, River Sneak Merfolk. I'm put that down, let you see that while I unconfuse my uh, stacks here. I put the commons on top of the uncommons, I think. Yeah, okay, that's what I did. Okay, I did it that one time. I did it just now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. They go here, not there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so you saw them. And the foil. Yes, that's what they're doing. I think when they give you a foil, they put it on top of the rare. The Looming Altasaur. It's like a made up dinosaur. So one seven for four mana. A one seven? Could you imagine that? That's my foil. It's a one seven. <laughs> so it's mostly a defender. Imagine that. So it costs four mana. And that goes on the foils. My rare is an artifact, Conqueror's Galleon. And it is a transform card. I can, I'm starting to notice that now. This is nice artwork. I noticed that the. Um, that's how you know. That little symbol in the corner. So if you, if you're if you're looking for the transform cards that transform into a land. And uh, you think that you passed over. All you have to do is remember to look at that corner. So that's my rare. And uh, so when Conqueror's Galleon attacks, exile it at, at the end of combat, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. Crew 4. And there's the Conqueror's Foothold on the other side. Transformed from the Conqueror's Galleon. I'm going to have to look this card up. I have a feeling that it's worth some money. Is that going out of focus? Is that thing trying to focus? Or am I imagining things? Anyway, so that's my rare. That goes here, and one of those cards. You know, check it off. Tell me which one to transform from, and a vampire. And that is the bundle pack. So let's go ahead and put these cards. Let's say we put all the commons in this slot. Let's put all the tokens. 
on the other side. Let's put the rares here. I guess the foils too. And the mythic. And then the uncommons. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, close that box up for now. Okay. Now, back to the the packs that came out of the toolkit. And then we'll do the three packs that I bought separately. I know this video is a bit long. So, we're looking for a couple of things from Mom and Cat. I've only got one pack here from Mom and Cat. Hey. So let's see. Maybe we get lucky. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Evolving Wilds, Impeccable Timing 8, Hyena Pack 9, and Horror of the Broken Lands 10. So, no foils. True Heart Twins, Time to Reflect, and Seraph of the Suns. Okay, my rare is Rags to Riches. I believe I never had one of these. I forgot all about this one. I got just about every other split one, but I don't have Rags to Riches. All creatures get minus two, minus two until the end of the turn. <laughs> All creatures, including mine? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, an island and a uh, punch card. Okay. So, we'll put that aside. We'll put the island, we'll put the island on top of the pack of lands. And the next was the Kaladesh. Actually, I should have opened up the Kaladesh first. It was older, right? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. This is from the toolkit. And of course, they're making it difficult to open. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it is nine. I don't think I have, even though this is a common, there's two here I never heard of, like Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot. I, I never heard of this one, and it's kind of nice artwork, too. That's a common, that's just one of the, that's Kaladesh. Interesting. Okay, I'll put that aside. So, the uncommons are a sorcery called Harsh Scrutiny. Another one that I don't believe I have. I don't have hardly any Kaladesh, to tell you the truth. It's no wonder I don't have any of these. Servo Expedition. And Sequestered Stash. Ooh, it's a land. And anyway, very quick, very quick. All right, good enough. All right. So, my rare, I'm just going to put them, I'm not going to separate, I'm just going to put them there. My rare is um, Confiscation Coup. And it's a sorcery. And my foil, Larger Than Life. It's actually a good card. It's being uh, used in some, some decks, but I've got the foil. I think I may have a larger than life. It may be one of the only few interesting Kaladesh cards I have. And a swamp. 
I love this. This is one of the nicer artworks on the Kaladesh. And a servo token. All right. Now, let's go ahead and let's separate the two different decks by putting a token between them, putting the tokens between them, and put them in one stack to get them out of the way. Now, these are the two Exelon from uh, the toolkit. And of course, okay, there we go. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, the uh, Skittering Heart Stopper. <laughs> the Skittering Heart Stopper is like a giant centipede. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Kinjali's caller. Okay, so that's the ten commons. Slice in twain. Destroy target artifact, the Chadron Door card. All right, okay. Raptor Hatchling and Andanto Vanguard. Okay. Uncommon. Uncommon and uncommon. My rare is Jace Cunning. Oh, it's a planeswalker. I got the, the, the guy I don't like. And it's a mythic. Well, I'll be damned. This came out, mind you, of the Deck Builder's Toolkit. I got the Planeswalker, the more expensive one, out of the Deck Builder's Toolkit. One of the packages. One of the booster packs. Imagine that. And a mountain and a treasure. Mountain token. How do you like that? That's my rare. It's a rare mythic. Very, very good. Next pack. I would say that the um, Wizards of the Coast is Putting more value in their deck builder toolkit, um, and I'm not just saying it because you know, well, you know, in a scientific view, you know, I only did the one box, the only one kit, so that's not a a, a valid uh, uh, slice of you know percentage to uh, be looking at. But I looked at the videos online where people are opening up these toolkits, and they're saying the same thing. Um, actually, I think with that with that Jace, uh, I think I got more value out of this one than, than one of the other ones I saw. But generally speaking, um, I'm pretty sure I didn't get this kind of value out of the uh, Almond Cats. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And by the way, while I was counting the nine, one of them is a uh, land that's a unknown shores. I don't believe I have that one. Or I, I don't know, actually, I, I didn't really look at carefully at the ones that I opened up tonight, but. Interesting. And it is nine. It is, that means I do have a foil or your new surprise. So let's find out. Wanted Scoundrels, Deadeye Quartermaster, 
and Savage Stomp are my three. And I'm going to hide this one from you for a moment. These are the three uh, uncommons. Okay, put them on that stack and let us find out what my prize is. My prize is a Legion's Judgment foil. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Four or greater. Now there's one. Every time I see one of these types of, of, of mechanics or you destroy a card target creature, it's usually like four or less, three or less. Uh, this is four or greater. So you get a chance to kill a monster. Okay, and that is a foil. Do I have a spot for my foils? No, not yet. Put that there. My rare is a dowsing dagger. That's right. It's a transformer. And um, I've seen this one talked about. I believe this is one of the more expensive ones. So the Dowsing Dagger, as you can see, it's listed on the second part of the list, second one down on this card, transforms into Lost Veil. And that looks like this. So, there it is. Alright, that's my rare. I'll put that with the, I'll put that underneath the Jace. And this is a pirate token and the, what do you call it, card? That is the Deck Builders Toolkit. So we'll go ahead and put that in there for now so that I don't get mixed up. And I want to keep my cards from being destroyed in any way. So Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to scoop these up like this, like this. And look at that. I'm beginning to see the uh, complaints now. I'm beginning to see the complaints about the, the, the cards coming out of the package bent. Look at that. Look at that curve. Unbelievable. Well, I'm going to see if I can put some weight on them. Put them underneath of the... Uh, Underneath the uncommons, I guess. Okay. And this is the other older stuff. I'll put that between them like this. And ah, I hate doing that, I'm picking them up with my nails. Okay. Let's uh let's put those on the other side of this box thing. Okay. Alright, we'll do it that way. Yes, this video is taking too long. So we are down to the, the three separately purchased packs. Medusa first. I know it's not her name. I don't remember her name. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I was looking for this car too. The uh, Sentinel Totem. I've been hearing so much about this card 
and I haven't seen one in my stock yet until now. The snapping sailback. And another lightning strike. Looks like we'll be using lightning strike on a deck of mine soon. And my rare is Bishop of Rebirth. I have heard about him too. Okay. A land and a dinosaur token. Who's this? I don't even know who that is. One, two, three, four, five, blossoming dryad. Interesting artwork. Take a look at that. This card number five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay. Duskborn Sky Marcher, Bonded Horncrest. Yes, Ixalan's Binding. Another card that I've heard a lot about. I think this is the first one I've seen in, in my possession. Okay. Okay, it's good enough. I know you didn't see the third one. Here, here's the third one. I'm trying to speed it up here. Okay. Search. For Escanta, another is my rare, another Transformer. Um, at this rate, I may have all the Transformers before the end of the before the end of the week. And it transforms into the Sunken Ruin. Escanta, the Sunken Ruin. Interesting. So that's my rare. And of course, one of those and a treasure token. And that's upside down for some reason. No, it ain't. Last pack. So it would seem. Well, the, that, that Transformer land thing might be worth money. But it would seem that I got. Um, the better card out of the uh, booster pack from the toolkit. Coincidence? Who knows? Wizards of the Coast knows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spreading Rot is number eight. Raptor Companion is number nine. And Cobbled Wind is number 10. No foil. So we got the uh, Ruthless Knave as a pirate. Stormfleet Spy. That's another card I've heard about. Just a 2 2 for 3 mana. And uh, Ranging Raptors. So there's the, the uh, Stormfleet Spy. And here's the other two. Okay. And those go on the uncommons. My rare is a merfolk warrior named Herald of Secret Streams. 
herald of secret streams. Whatever. So he's a 2 3 for 4 mana. Creatures you control with plus. Creatures you control with plus 1 plus 1 counters on them can't be locked. Oh, that's interesting. So I guess the. The secret would be to get a bunch of plus one plus one in the counters on your creatures, huh? And a planes and a vampire. And that is finally that. I uh, hope that you liked this video as long as it was. And please subscribe. And I hope to get that new camera not too far off into the future and do some talking about the new artwork for this set thank you for watching please subscribe